and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new here, you're probably wondering why I have such a weird setting right now. I'm not normally standing at the beginning of my videos and I'm not normally facing these bookshelves. But the reason is because today we are going to be cleaning my bookshelves and reorganizing them. I decided that I wanted to try to make a more conscious effort to at least once every few months pull all of the books off my bookshelf wipe down my bookshelf, make sure my books are good, and maybe reorganize a little based off of the amount of new books that I've gotten. So that is the project for today, and I say today knowing that this is probably going to span into a couple of days because I have a lot of books and I also have books at my boyfriend's house or like a shelf at my boyfriend's house, so like I'm gonna end up needing to, I'm gonna move some over there, so like show you guys that it, like that's not gonna happen till at least tomorrow. So anyway. It's gonna be a process. It's gonna be interesting. I'm not doing all of my books. I have two bookshelves upstairs in my house. The one is predominantly um, like my Nancy Drew books, some of my Hardy Boy books, like some of the books that I had from when I was younger that I am not willing to give up because they're really nostalgic to me and like just they're, they're my childhood and I'm not getting rid of them. Like I have all of the Nancy Drew books or at least all of the original hardcover yellow ones. I'm like, I'm not getting rid of those. So that's the one shelf. And then the other shelf is all of my classics, my Agatha Christie and my Mary Higgins Clark books. And like, that's gonna also just stay that way because it's easier to have all of those on separate shelves because I have so many of my Mary Higgins Clark and my Agatha Christie books. So like they just sort of stay in their own little shelf up there. So we are only working with this shelf right behind me. I have another one right over there. And then we'll see if I can spin this far. I have that third bookshelf right there. Um, and then I have like a TBR cart that has random stuff. So that's what we're gonna be working with. If you're looking in the background and you recognize we're watching Supernatural while we're doing it because I love Sam and Dean and Supernatural is just a comfort show for me. So of course we're gonna watch that while we're doing this. And we're just gonna see how this goes. I think I'm mainly just, I think I'm gonna keep the way I organized some of the books because like I have them sort of parsed out as like genres. I just need to add all the new books in that I've gotten since the beginning of the year when I put everything back and then I might move which shelves, which genres are on. And that's gonna make a little bit more sense once I start doing it, but yeah. So I figured I would just show you, this is kind of what we're working with that I pulled over from my boyfriend's house. This is empty, but we have all of these, these, this is empty, um, this is full of books, and then all of those. So we have quite a decent amount of books. I think we're going to start by pulling off books from the shelves that I am planning on taking over my boyfriend's and leaving there. Um, so like, for example, this is going to my boyfriend's house because it's like one of my special editions. So I have like, I just have one shelf there and I've been using it for a lot of my special edition books and everything. I was putting other books in with it, but I'm getting a lot of these now, so I'm kind of running out of room and I just want that shelf to predominantly be these and book series that I've finished that I really, really love and that I really, I don't know, like that are huge favorites of mine. And that can sort of be that shelf as like more of like a special shelf, I guess you could say. And then I wanna be able to have like all of my physical TBR in one location rather than having it at, split between two houses and not being able to remember where the books are. I will say that um, I do have books at JD's house that are still on my physical TBR. They're on my TBR cart that I have there that I always put my monthly TBR on and then like the bottom shelves I, I fill with new books when I get them and until I feel like rearranging and act like putting them in with everything else. So I do have 10 or 11 books on that TBR cart that I guess I need to try and factor in and save space for, but I just did not feel like bringing those home with everything else that I brought home to put them on the shelf to then pull them off the shelf to put over at his place. And I know this sounds like a lot of work. I get it. It's a little crazy. 
But if anybody's gonna understand, it's my book girlies. Like you guys are gonna, you're gonna understand crazy a little bit, I hope. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna pull stuff off the shelf that I want on my special shelf over at JD's. Alrighty, wow, this angle is bad. Okay, we're gonna have to work on that later. I have a little bit of a stack for the ones that I'm gonna take over to JD's. First, we have, like I said, a studying drowning. This is a special edition, so it's going over. I just brought it back because I was filming a wrap up video. Then I'm going to take my Divergent series over. I just adore this series. It will always be one of my favorites, so I feel like it deserves a spot on the special shelf. There are a lot of books that are series that I absolutely love that I won't take over because I already have like special editions of them, like the Moral Instruments series. I have the Litroy Crate special editions already over there, and I already have special editions of like the Hunger Games series. So like I'm not going to take the originals over there and stuff when I already have special editions there. So just to explain that. Then we have Holly Jackson's books, The Good Girl's Guide to Murder Trilogy and Five Survive. I adore Holly Jackson's writing. I just got The Reappearance of Rachel Price and I'm so, so excited to read it. It'll it'll end up going with these once I get the series finished or like that book finished. So that's going over there. Uh, next up we have Air of Broken Fate by Mads Rafferty. I think I just want this over there because like the cover is absolutely stunning and she deserves a special place. So that's why those are going over there. Then we have Icebreaker and Wildfire by Hannah Grace. I love this series. I am very picky about my romance books, but I absolutely adore these books. So that's why I want those to go over. And then finally we have the Touch of Darkness series. I, I just, I ate this series up when I started reading it. Last year, the last book just came out. I'm going to read it very, very soon and I'm very excited about it, but I absolutely loved this whole entire series. So I feel like it needed a special place. But I feel like that's a decent amount of books to take over. There are a lot of books that I'm looking at on my shelves going, oh, I feel like I would want these over there if I finished them. Like I feel like these are gonna be really good and really special. I just haven't finished them. So they're staying, they're staying here. But we're gonna move these out of the way, probably put these in bags right away, that way out of the way and we'll go from there. Nearly two bags full of books to take back over to his place, which I think is a good start. I know I definitely brought more over from his place, but a lot of them were my TBR card. So I feel like this is going to fit on the shelves and hopefully still leave enough room for my growing special edition collection since I have two uh, subscription box collections that I get every month, so hopefully. Also, I'm just, we're gonna interrupt this for a second and I'm gonna tell you guys, if you haven't watched Supernatural, you need to. Like, if you don't get creeped out by like monsters and demons and ghosts, you need to go watch it. Like. <laughs> you would have seen. I was just sitting there laughing, watching the blooper reel for that episode. Sam and Dean, and they're just like, they're some of my favorite people to watch. Uh, the actors are, did such a good job with them throughout the years of that show, and I just, I loved it. I've already seen it once. I still laugh watching it. Like, you guys need to check it out if you haven't yet. Please, like, just take anything from this video. If you want to stop watching this video, after I tell you that, because you're like, I'm gonna go watch that instead. It's a lot more fun than you are. By all means, I agree. Please go do that. <laughs> all right, and we are at the not so fun part, which is pulling all of the books off the shelves and dusting the shelves. Rearranging them is gonna be fun, kind of a lot of, a lot of work, but it'll be fun. But pulling them off just to dust the shelves is going to be annoying. And I did also realize that means I'm going to have to pull them off the shelves upstairs, even though I'm not reorganizing them, because I wanna clean the shelves. I already changed into shorts, as you guys can see, because I was already starting to get warm. And we'll see how long the sweatshirt lasts in this process. Okay, so what, what just happened, little one? My dog just completely spazzed out. I'm 100% sure you heard his nails on the floor as he freaked out. I don't know what that was. He's seen, he's seen ghosts too. <laughs> Okay, for 
first bookshelf is done and cleaned off. This bookshelf is primarily all of like my fantasy, dystopian, all of those books. Um, I have like some fantasy books that I separated over into like my YA subcategory. Don't know why they just felt more YA, but like there are some in here that I know are YA, but I leave with my fantasy. I don't have a great explanation for it, it's just the way that my brain works. And then within fantasy, I try to break it down into magic, just like regular magic like Harry Potter or witches and that type of magic, or um, just like folklore fantasy. I have uh, dystopian, I have like the Greek retellings, like I try to break it down into that. I have stuff that's just I put in her fantasy with like Faye and uh, so like Akatar and the Cruel Prince, like those go together. And that's just kind of how I work it. So I tried to leave them in as much of a, like their categories as possible when I pulled them off the shelf. I just have to get all of my new ones that are going to fit into this and figure out where they belong in this little world. <laughs> and that's always the hard part. All right, this angle's a little bit better. So. <laughs> We have an entire stack of, I can't even pick them up, an entire stack of fantasy books that I have to pick through and figure out where they fall in these categories. So first up we have Hunt on Dark Water. This is like a fantasy pirate setting. I really don't have any other pirate fantasy stuff yet. Like there, I have a lot on my wish list. I just don't own a lot. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to put that. Then we have The Beautiful, The Righteous, and The Damned. This is like a, uh, a vampire fantasy. So that one's not going to be too hard. I do have some other vampire ones in here. And then we have Filthy Rich Vampire. This one, the title gives it away. Thank you for that. Then we have The One Dark Window. Duology. I have the second one somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> I have these two. This is like, this is magic, but not like wand type of magic or fey magic. So like I kind of have a category for that. Um, I just got to figure out which ones they are. And I know that doesn't make much sense. Then we have Beneath the Shatter. This is like, this has woven in it and time travel. So I think I'm going to put that somewhere with like vampires and everything. I have like a whole category that's different creatures, um, for lack of a better way to describe that. <laughs> uh, then we have House of Being in Blood. I love this book, but I have a special edition of it at Judy, so that's why it's staying here. This one, I don't know where I want to put this one. I don't know, I gotta see if I have anything else that's like this. Um, and then we have Spellbreaker. This is actual like spells and stuff. So like, I think this would go well with like all the Harry Potter books and stuff like that. I'm not balancing very well. And then we have the Undertaking of Heart and Mercy that says that it is a fantasy setting, but I don't really know where it falls into anything. I don't know if this is a YA book. That would make it a lot easier. I could just stick it with my YA stuff but I'm not really sure. So I might have to figure that out and go from there.
first shelf took, oh my God, my hair's a mess. That first shelf took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but let me do a quick walkthrough with you guys to sort of explain the setup for it all. So like I said, I tried to break it down by like subgenres. So up here is like all of my fantasy where it's like spells and witchcraft and stuff like that. So these all fit in there, or at least I think they do based on the descriptions. And then we sort of segue into um, just stuff with like magic and people with abilities, but maybe not necessarily witches. They're not 100% sure. Then we get into some of the fantasy where it's like just fantasy worlds um, with just like the fantasy elements in them, but not necessarily like magic with like spells and everything like that. I just felt like a lot of those fit into it. Um, so these are all just special fantasy worlds, like Narnia is its own fantasy world. These are their own fantasy worlds and everything like that. Um, some of the, the ones with like kingdoms and stuff that are fantasy. And then we go down here. This is like the last in like the fantasy world subcategory. And then I tried to show the change in subcategory with like the books like this. So these are some of my fae books. Then we have a break in it and we go over to some of my retellings. Like this is a um, Edgar Allan Poe retelling with a fantasy element, my Greek god retellings, everything like that. Uh, and then getting down to our final two shelves, we have um, the Mortal Instruments series and a lot of other books that are just about different creatures and everything. So Mortal Instruments is like half angels, um, the Hush Hush series is angels, and then we have vampires, everything like that. And then the last shelf is just a lot of my dystopian or dystopian-esque books with like different like half worlds in them like the invisible life of Addie Valeru is somebody that's sort of stuck in this weird reality where nobody remembers her or anything like that and like some of them are people that have died and are stuck in like this half-life so things like that um and I think it is going to transition nicely into my YA because there's some YA dystopian at the very end of that so now we're going to move on to my next shelf I did pull some books from over on these shelves to move over to my YA because looking at them, I was like, I feel like these are gonna fit better over in my YA categories. <sighs> I might need a t-shirt at this point. I'm getting really warm. <laughs> okay, so I have another bookshelf done and cleaned off. This one, I normally keep my YA and then all of like my mystery and suspense on. Like I said, aside from my Agatha Christie and everything, I think we're gonna change it up and just put YA and then my romance books because I feel like, like my mystery ones don't look that aesthetic. Most of them are really dark covers. There's not a lot of series that go together. Like they're just not really pretty. And I want these shelves to be like, because they're like a focal point of my living room to be a little bit more aesthetic. So I think my romance books are gonna fit that a little bit better. Uh, so we're gonna move those from the shelf that's over there to this one and we will see how that goes. So I'll give you a quick tour of what this one looks like. 
So up here is, like I said, my YA, so my YA vampire. I don't know if Twilight is vampires. I mean, I know it's vampires. I don't know if it's YA, but I throw it in there anyway. Witches and everything like that. Then we get into some of the, I have some like pirate ones and then like just random other worlds, other kingdoms. This sort of separates from the, the fantasy into the mystery, Pretty Little Liars series, all my YA mystery, uh, some Natasha Preston books, the Truly Devious series, the new Holly Jackson book, uh, and just on that way into more of like just regular fiction and then into like YA romance which segues into all of my adult romance that we have here. And then on the bottom shelf, I have my dark, uh, not dark academia, dark romance. And as you can see, there's room to grow, which is really- The problem is I don't know if this shelf over here is going to give me enough space for all of my mystery books. I feel like it's not, so we might have a problem. Okay, so I am sweaty, I am frazzled, but we are done with all the shelves down here. And I did clean the ones upstairs without filming because I, I think this video is getting very long at this point. So we're just gonna go over what I did down here really quick. So these are gonna be all of my mystery books. The little Coco Puffy was supposed to go with my Christmas books, but because of where they are now, it doesn't make sense. So he's going there. So all of my mystery books all the way down. I did have to relocate some books over here. So I moved my dark romance up to that shelf and the bottom shelf is now like contemporary books. And then in here, we have all of my historical fiction in those two shelves and um, my Christmas books on the bottom of that, along with like my self-help books. So that is going to be the end of this video. That was much more of an undertaking than I thought it was going to be. And if anything, it made me realize I really need more bookshelves because I am running out. Possibly going to see if I can get some additional shelves for this smaller bookcase right next to me that has my mystery books on it now. Uh, it's like Target ones, so I'm hoping maybe I can just get some more shelves and that will help do the trick. But things are getting, things are getting a little bit full at this point. So I need to figure something else out for all of these. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I love watching people reorganize their books and seeing the way they do it. So I hope that you did as well. And if you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye!